Now that we've talked a little bit about value types, let's dive into reference types. So with value types, we learned that the variable stores the actual value in memory. And with reference types, this is a little bit different. Whereas the reference type, the variable stores a reference to the location of an object in memory. So what does this actually mean practically? Well, when we assign a variable of a value type to another variable of a value type, it's gonna copy that what's in that memory location to a new location. Now, when we do this to a reference type, it's just gonna copy the reference to a new location, to a new variable, which means that both of those variables are pointing to the same location in memory. So they're actually accessing the same memory, which means they're gonna edit the same object. Now, let's see how this actually plays out. So I'm going to do this with a value type first. I'm just gonna create an integer A and set it equal to one. I'm gonna create an integer B and set it equal to A. Whoop. And then I'm gonna set B equal to two. Now, what happens is that we create a variable and a memory location to store one. Then we create B and it copies one into the B variable. And then I change B. Now this won't change A because we got a copy of it. And this is really important to where reference variables are different. So let's go ahead and run this and just see this in action. And we'll see that I'm printing out A and B and we'll see that we get one and two. So A is still one after we make that change to B. Now let's do this with a reference variable. So I'm gonna create a new person that I've got down here in a class and I'm just gonna call it A and B, just like we did before. So I'll say a new person and all it has on it is a name. I'm gonna say Matt. And then I'll create another person, B, make it equal to A. But then I'm gonna say B.name equals Will. Now, if this were working like a value type, this would mean that I would still have A having the name Matt and B having the name Will. But what we're gonna see is that that's not the case. What happens is that they're both say Will now. So the key that we have to understand here is that whenever we're dealing with reference types, we can alter the values of other variables. That's how you kind of have to think of it is that if you're passing this variable around, this other function or this other thing can alter your variable when you may not have in intended for that to happen. Uh, and that can have some unintended consequences in your code. So when it comes down to value and reference types and the differences between them, this is really the key component that you need to understand going forward so that you know what's going on in your applications as they're using these different types of variables. But it's all about how that variable stores its value in memory. Does it store the actual value or does it restore a reference to the object or value in memory? That's the key and that's the difference between these two that you need to know. So keep that in mind as you're writing your programs and let's move on to the next section.